Hello guys, it's me Sandri again. We're going to watch a video today about how can we count in groups of 10. Remember that we are counting to 100 and more because you know now how to count with big numbers. So pay attention to this video. Matt spills some puzzle pieces on the floor. 61 pieces are still in the box. How can Matt find the number of puzzle pieces in all? You are asked to find how Matt can find the number of puzzle pieces in all. What do you already know? You know that Matt spilled some puzzle pieces on the floor and that 61 puzzle pieces are still in the box. How can you use what you know to solve the problem? What does it mean to use what you know to solve the problem? Okay, so Matt is a boy and Matt has a puzzle. So in this box, he has 61 puzzles, 61 pieces of puzzle inside this box but he spilled pieces of puzzle outside the box and we don't know how many they are so what do we know we know that he has 61 inside this box so we're going to count from 61 to the numbers that we are going to count because 61 is one of the parts so, we are going to start counting from 61. This is the part we know. It means to think about how you will use the information that you have to find how many puzzle pieces in all. You can look for shortcuts and things that repeat. To look for a shortcut means to look for a faster way to solve the problem. To look for things that repeat means to use something over and over in order to solve the problem. Circle a group of 10 and count on. Repeat until there are no more groups of 10. Then count on by ones. What repeats in solving this problem? Circling and counting groups of 10 repeats. How many groups of 10 puzzle pieces are on the floor? Okay, so we have here 61 and they are asking us to make groups of 10 so we can solve this problem. If we make groups of 10, we're going to group like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we can circle this group of 10 pieces of puzzle. And we can group here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We can make this group of 10 pieces of puzzle. Now we're going to see how we're going to solve this problem because there are some pieces of puzzle outside the groups of 10. Okay, let's see. There are two groups of 10. How do you count the puzzle pieces in the box and the groups of 10? Select your answer. Okay, so look, we have this number that we know inside this box has 61 pieces of puzzle. In here we have 10, and in here we have another 10. So how are we going to count this? 61 and 10 more is? Yes, 71. And 10 more is? Yes, 81. So the pattern here is 61, 71, and 81. That's the way we can count these groups of 10. Very good. 
61, 71, 81. Why do you start counting at 61? You start at 61 because there are 61 puzzle pieces left in the box. How do you count the puzzle pieces that are not in a group of 10? Count the remaining pieces by ones. 61, 71, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. How many puzzle pieces are there in all? Okay, guys, this is so beautiful. We have here 61, 71, 81, and these pieces, we're going to count them by ones. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. That means that how many puzzle pieces are there in all? Yes, 85. Very good. There are 85 puzzle pieces in all. Now you know how to use repeated reasoning to solve problems. Great thinking! Excellent, guys. See you in class.